Yo, what is going on guys? Crypto Kid here coming at you guys again with another video guys. And this one we're going to be going over another article. So this one I just kind of happened to stumble upon. It was written just about three days ago by Forbes actually. And so, I mean, the headline kind of got me this minor cryptocurrency is on track to smash Bitcoin in 2020. So I'm like, all right, let's see if this guy kind of knows what he's talking about. And I was interested to see what he would say. And he actually ended up coming out with Tezos. Uh, so let's go ahead and read into this. Tezos trading at as XTZ, it's obviously like the ticker symbol, if you will, if we're talking about stocks, um, has risen by 85% since the beginning of the year, adding to gains made last year and giving Tezos a market capitalization of $1.8 billion. At the beginning of the year, Tezos was the 15th most valuable cryptocurrency by market capitalization, according to CoinMarketCap data, but has now broken into the top 10, as we all know, and could move quickly past some rivals if its run continues. And then we have a quote here. Tezos seems to be one of the most popular platforms for new projects to build on at the moment. Uh, another quote, several projects that I'm currently adv advising are using it as well. Uh, the token economics, the token economics are structured in a way that a lot of the incoming supply are diverted to staking and taken off the market. So this is something I totally agree with them um, with is that people aren't really selling Tezos um, because even if you're viewing it as being equal to all the other um, like coins out there when you're selling Tezos you have to think like you're not only selling Tezos you're selling Tezos and all future gains you would have had from Tezos uh, so when you're selling it you're you're really just selling it more than than what it's worth uh, which kind of sucks and it obviously um, influences people to not sell but rather hodl um, just kind of hold on to that that coin rather than selling so you have a lot less people selling their Tezos onto the market as opposed to any other coin really so Tezos which sells itself as a self-amending cryptographic ledger and the uses the so-called proof of stake as we all know which is like the staking and baking has emerged as a favorite blockchain and cryptocurrency for tokenized real estate and security tokens so tokenized real estate guys I'm telling you this is the future right here I'm hoping that one day Maybe 10, 20 years from now, you're going to be able to buy like parts of an apartment or like parts of a building or sculpture or something. I think that would just be really cool, really like good, good way to store value, honestly, because it's just like a buying part of a, a company with stocks, but you're buying part of a building or part of a portrait or something, something that's going to hold its value. So I think that's just that's literally just the next step in in the evolution of our of how our economy works and operates and what holds value and what doesn't. I think that's definitely in the future. However, Tezos, which uses proof of stake instead of Bitcoin's proof of work, cannot be mined like Bitcoin. So they're just once again explaining proof of stake, blah blah blah. Um, Tezos is not proof of work based coin, so it can't be mined. However, it is one of the most promising projects to come out of the initial coin offering era which gives it an edge in times such as these when the Bitcoin price appreciates and lifts the market for its select few quality projects. So basically what they're saying here is that new money is coming into the space because of the Bitcoin hype. Um, they're not, we're not quite in a full bull run yet, so we're not seeing random altcoins getting picked up, but people are coming to the market and looking for quality, solid projects to invest in, and they find Tezos. So Tezos has benefited from various platforms supporting the ability to stake Tezos tokens over recent months. Um, so, of course, Binance and Coinbase, all these other ones. And now, uh, finally, the Tezos rally, which began in November last year, has also been pushed on by major partnerships with the financial world and the so-called Tezos Foundation faucet that awards users up to 0 0.01 Tezos every 12 hours. Hmm, I haven't heard of that. I'll have to look into that. But interesting stuff, guys. The more articles that are written about coins like Tezos, um, just kind of the more pe the public's familiarized with it, and it's obviously good for the price. So... For any Tezos holders out there supporting the project, like myself, um, this is definitely good news for us, guys. Um, I think we're starting to really establish ourselves as a legitimate coin. Um, and I think the, the future is bright for Tezos XTZ. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.